the government is gravely concerned at the events that took place on Garvahi Road today. The abrupt reversal of the decision about the route of the Orange Parade is regretted. It runs counter to previously agreed approaches by both governments to accord parity of esteem to both nationalist and unionist communities in matters of this nature. We have consistently maintained that the right to march must be exercised with due regard to the rights of local communities to enjoy protection from unwanted marches and that marches should take place along a route where they are welcome and not where they are not welcome. Uh, the government has been in close contact with events in Northern Ireland in recent days and all our efforts were devoted to avoiding the sort of confrontation which has now regrettably occurred. We were well aware of the efforts that were being made uh, at local level and with the assistance of all of the main church leaders to find an acceptable conclusion or agreement to the situation, the admittedly difficult situation that exists uh, in regard to marches on the Garvahi Road. And we are not aware of any reason why that dialogue, which was ongoing, was not allowed to reach its natural conclusion uh, in an acceptable outcome and why the decision that was taken to allow the march to proceed in the absence of such agreement was taken. Uh, we are fully uh, conscious of the anger that that uh, decision has caused in uh, the nationalist community, not only on the Garvahi Road but elsewhere. Uh, but we appeal to all concerned to show the utmost restraint in this situation. Restraint is the most effective of all arguments. We've already conveyed to the British government uh, at the highest level our concern at this development. And we believe more strongly than ever now that there's a need for a clear set of rules uh, which once and for all recognises and reconciles the conflicting rights, the right to march and the right of communities to avoid hostile and uh, unwelcome demonstrations taking place in their immediate vicinity. Today's most unwelcome developments will not deflect the Irish government from its efforts through the multi-party talks and in every other way to find a basis for an acceptable political settlement which will accommodate the wishes and aspirations of all the people in Northern Ireland.